Hey, so I have a guest here with me today. This is Alfie. Hello, lovely humans. So you are how many days post-op? Seven plus two, nine. <laughs> <laughs> Seven plus two days post-op and you have no nipples, I have... but it's okay because it's on purpose. Yeah, he didn't just like throw them out and be like, oh shit, where did I put them? <laughs> They didn't fall <laughs> off or anything. It no, was... they didn't fall off. I chose to have no nipples. You can just have no nipples, but um, you're getting... I am getting some put on, but it's going to take six months. Postage is such a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Your chest is looking so good. I know, right? Except for this nipple. <laughs> but we won't talk about that. Wake up, Jeff! <laughs> 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 uh... But anyway, no nips. No nip Alfie. We should, you should edit some nipple nipples of me. <laughs> Can they have smiley faces? Yeah. Wait, put your arms up. I'm going to edit nipples on you. Do, do, oh, do, don't do, put do, your do, arms up. Do, what am I talking do, about? Do, do, do. Oh, I can do them up to here. It's okay. So you talked with Andy about having no nipples. Why did you decide to do that? I decided to do that because nipples can fall off. Nipples can change colour and they can die. And they can just not work as well. You, you, you can just have them not work ever again. And I didn't really use them before. And they were ugly. So <laughs> I just chose not to have them. And um, I go for the looks more than the... than the um, Go for the aesthetic. Functional, than the functionality. Yeah. But um, so in three months when this bruising and swelling and settling goes down, he's gonna go under local and just <laughs> nipple origami. Nipple origami. So what, just like pinch the skin off or So something? basically it's folding the skin. I wonder if they chuck them in the bin, or the biohazard bin, or if they went to um, the pathology as well. I don't know, but um, I he, Andy made a joke about it though. He said that he had them in his back pocket <laughs> when I got the trains out. I was like, I want to know, like, where did you put them? He's like, I got them in my back pocket. I'm like, oh. Is there other ones in there too? Is it just mine? And are they all it's alone? Collecting them. <laughs> yeah. Are they all alone? Did, <laughs> Did you just like mine me? especially? Or <laughs> what you said about functionality and stuff, um, and like nipples not working. Cause this one, if I blow on it, <laughs> <laughs> this is really weird. <laughs> but look, it gets hard. Oh it? my it god, it was so quick. I know, right? Isn't it great? It's like exactly does what it should and like reacts to cold, which I think is really awesome. Like, he took the nipple off, put it in a receptacle, it was off my body for several hours, probably. He put it back on, and it's like, oh yeah, I remember how to act and how to behave and like and how to be an actual just like the problem child. <laughs> um, yeah, but like, I mean, this is so cool. And so, <laughs> for me, like, I understand the uh, reasoning for getting like nipple origami, nipple construction, and uh, the tattoo. Does he do the tattoo before or after? So you get the nipple origami, and then three months after that, when everything's settled there, then you get it tattooed. Well, that's sort of. They say wait six months, but uh, we had a friend that did it after three, and he said it was absolutely fine. He didn't feel anything. I don't know where to put them though. Like, <laughs> I don't think. Do you decide that? I don't know. Just... Do I? <laughs> well, because I think I... it's a little bit of both. Like he's not going to put them in a ridiculous. <laughs> Can I one hair and like one down there? <laughs> I'd like two beside my belly button, please. <laughs> oh, what am I showing? Oh, on my cheek. <laughs> can I have two like this so I can have horns? <laughs> nipple horns. <laughs> can you edit me some nipple horns right here. Just okay. like. <laughs> hmm. Nipple make horns. Make a noise. <laughs> Um, I'm having way too much fun here. Thanks, yeah. business. So, for me, my nipples and areola are a little bit closer to the center than he normally does them. Did um, you choose that? I chose that. So, that was like where they were pre op, is basically where they are now, if that makes sense. Like, straight down here. Whereas, generally, cis guys, they're a bit further out, I think. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you can tell, but they're like a little closer. Now that you've said that, like, I guess they look a little close together, but. Yeah, like, but, it's not super noticeable, but for me, like, I was, I quite attached to my nipples, literally. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know, mine are kind of like my father. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my areola, 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 quite, <laughs> quite big, but, like, 
you know, I'm quite happy with them. And the fact but that did this you one's... choose that as well? Like a big areola? Yeah, so these are 38 mil. <laughs> so they're these metal cylinder things with jagged edges on the bottom, like a little, like, razors or saws. And they come in different sizes, and that's how he chooses the size of your areola. <laughs> so he just gets a saw and goes, eh, and gets off your nipple like that? Yeah, I think so. They're just like these circular things. You can probably attach it to, like, a power drill. <laughs> <laughs> And so the 22 mil is like the normal size, and then I chose the 38, which was just a bit bigger. Because... Because why? Because I wanted a flat chest, but I didn't necessarily want a male-looking chest. And I'm really happy with my results. I also know one person who got no nipples and then decided not to get them tattooed or origami on, and just has no nipples. Um, but she has like loads of tattoos, so you can't really tell. My nipples don't, because I didn't, oh, I guess I've got video of the colour that they were, but um, not a lot, so I'm probably just going to go with the colour of my lips and make them the colour of my lips, because that's what someone said to do. I can't remember Can you what choose what colour they are? It's a tattoo gun. Of course you can choose. But don't they say, like, your nipples have to be, because then you could get them, like, neon pink or something. <laughs> I could get Pokeballs if I really wanted to, <laughs> like... I don't think it really, like, I don't think it matters that people don't really care, it's your own choice, right? I could get, like, Magic 8 Balls, or, like, Fortune, <laughs> Crystal Ball, like, futuristic nipples, you, you could know? get them triangular. Square. <laughs> Square nipples. I'm still a bit worried about this open hole situation. <laughs> Can I get a close-up of that? Yeah, I guess, but not right now, but after. No, no, after. Oh, yeah. I'll get you... it with my camera. Okay. So yeah, my camera has, like, a minimum safe distance. Yeah. Well, not safe distance, but minimum, Just minimum. Focal, minimum focal. Camera talk, hashtag geeks.com. <laughs> I don't know what's on that website, but not us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've had phantom nipples as well. Um, when it was, when I got my drains out, oh, when I had my drains in, sorry, um, my nipple felt like it was here, like where the drain was. And it just felt so sore and painful and like the nerves must be... They're not obviously over here, that's so far away from where they were, but like the sensation was so sore and it felt like have... my nipple was super hard, but it wasn't a nipple at all, it was where the drain was. It was. I have like a weird thing where everywhere I touch, like it feels like it is where it is, except where it doesn't feel like much at all, like on my scar and like my areola, I don't have any feeling. But, um, except for this one spot when I touch here, this is so weird, this is so weird, I haven't even, I haven't talked about this on my channel yet. Um, when I touch here, I feel it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bizarre, like right here, right? I mean, I feel it here as well as over here, like I feel it in two places. Like this, to me, feels like someone's doing this. <laughs> Isn't that weird? I don't know how, because it feels like this can't have been over here <laughs> earlier, right? Like there's no way. But when I touch here, I feel nothing because it's under the areola. So imagine saying that to a partner that like you're getting. He's like, touch me here. Yeah. Like, <laughs> right here. Like, literally, this is the only spot I can feel any sensation. Just... <laughs> can you remember that? <laughs> Just have like a bullseye tattoo there or something. Just like <laughs> an I arrow. Get bullseye nipples. When you get yours constructed, they're not going to be able to like go flat or like hard or anything, right? They're just going to be... They're just going to be there. One so shape exist. the whole yeah. time. James has tattooed nipples. And I, and I chose to get mine because I saw his. And then he told me that they were tattooed. And I went, oh, nice nipples. They're tattooed? Oh my <laughs> god, they're amazing. <laughs> they look so real. So you'd already seen it. See, that's cool. Like, this is why it's really important yeah. to see different options and stuff. Because you had no idea before that. that yeah, no, I just thought right? he had regular nips and then he said he wanted them to be as small and as male as possible. And then, yeah. yeah. They are super good looking. And yeah, my nipples before didn't really go hard. They didn't really do a lot of anything. <laughs> they kind of just sat there, kind of just relaxed the whole time. And so, yeah. I don't wa know why I'm so, like, happy that this one goes hard and goes flat. It's not, like, it's not arousing at all. <laughs> it's just so weird, clear. I'm just really entertained. <laughs> I just find it quite fun. <laughs> Bodies are wild. Uh, thanks for guest starring. I don't know what I'm doing. Thanks for guesting <laughs> on my channel and uh, thanks for getting topless with me. Oh, also we did a collab on uh, Alfie's channel oh, as well, yeah, we so if you want to go over and check that out, there's more of us talking. We're wearing shirts. We're, Cute yeah. v-neck shirts. 
So we yeah. are clothed, so it's probably not as exciting. <laughs> Laters!